Oh. Howdy, y'all. Oh, we're playing another league of crab mine. <coughs> uh, it's a snap keep. All right. Right, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna seek to keep it ourselves. We got a grave crawler in the graveyard, okay. <clears throat> Please don't. Okay, sweet, that's great. Alright. Um Because I think I'm gonna push in response, so I'm not gonna. <sighs> that pause makes me think they have a removal spell. The odds of me milling the top three cards and getting a Venge Vine aren't the best. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna play it safe here. <clears throat> player under rule spell. I'll play the polluted delta next turn. See what happens. If our opponent's doing nothing, that's fine. Creeping chill. Okay. That's fine. <clears throat> Gonna grab Overgrown Tomb. And we are not getting lucky with our mills here, though. So we've milled an Archimeba and a Grave Crawler. We're 24 cards deep. That's unfortunate. Buy an Archimeba. That's great. That's a really good draw. That's such a good draw. Holy shit. I wish we'd hit a, an amalgam. Man. We have three creeping chills left in the deck. One in hand. So I have a grave, a breeding pool, and a tomb. And milled is another tomb. So no more green sources. And that's it. So I have left two water graves? No, one water grave. Yeah, one grave in the deck. All right, both of us discard. I'll discard this Verdant Catacombs. <laughs> Alright, the Fatal Push for the Vengevine. Sure. <clears throat> and the Inquisition! <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, man. Just making sure. So we just have an overgrown tomb milled, and we have another overgrown tomb. We have a beating pool. So it's one water grave left in deck. So I guess I'd rather have the water grave than not have it. Um. Yeah, Uncle Face.
Yeah, if we can't, like, get out of this Liana, like, anytime soon, we deserve to lose. It's just, I mean, we, we have not seen very many good cards here. So I'm thinking of holding on to the Delta. Oh fuck, I, I'm so stupid. I'm so, My bad. I, I was, uh, I just clicked too fast, but I'm, I can go Prize Amalgam into Grave Crawler and just... Could've won right there. Fuck. All right, listen, we're still going to win. I was just BMing my opponent. How about that? <laughs> Man, that's so stupid of me. Yeah, we're still going to win, but we're just BMing. We're showing them how like how easily we're going to win this game. All right, it's okay. They had an Astrophy anyways, so not punish. <clears throat> we're holding the Delta, because if we draw a Heatron Crab, we can let ourselves for three by grabbing the Watery Grave. Yeah, so that was, we totally knew they had an Astrophy in hand. Like, we just read their hand so well that, like, oh man, not my Seeker Keeper. That sucks. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? Another amount of, all right. I don't have any, yeah, I don't have any, uh, any more Brave Crawlers. <clears throat> Let me just make sure it's just a watery grave left. So we have, yeah, a single watery grave. Okay. Just I'll cast this. Plus, like not fetching hides that we have another watery grave. Yeah, the rock can't really beat this kind of deck. All right, so we're against the rock. We like Oko's. Um, <clears throat> they land a consideration, but not a very big one. Um, I like Fatal Pushes. I like some number of Astrophies. I don't like Force Negation. There's not really any big bombs we're trying to counter um, that are like Bond Creature. Besides, like, Liliana, which is negative of a Planeswalker. <sighs> Alright, so I like these five for sure. Let's maybe do two trophy, just in case they have any lines. Um, so these five come in, first and foremost. We're on the draw, so we can shave a feeder and a crawler. We can shave two creeping chills. <clears throat> we can shave a once. How about we... I think we should just leave it at this, honestly. I'm gonna see, like, if, if they have the ley line, then we're fucked. But that's fine. And is this hand a good keep? I go turn one feeder, turn two, crab, grave crawler. Man, this sucks, but it's better. Yeah, like, this start is, like, good against ley line, which they don't have, clearly, but whatever. They got Totsies? Okay. Crab sounds good to me. Hmm. Hmm. Let's think about this. Yeah, I'm gonna go gray crawler first. <clears throat> if I go carrying feeder first and they kill it, then like that's not worth it. And carrying feeder can at most do three damage next turn. All right, that's unfortunate. Um, I'll just, I guess I'll just make this guy a little bit bigger. Cool art. 
Uh, Scooze is bad. It's really bad. Well, triple push sounded like the right play. Let's see if we draw one. No, but we have, we draw a secret keeper. I'm actually just gonna not do anything yet. I'm just gonna play Amalgam. And I'll pass. Eat my crab, nerd. Make your coif smaller. Yes. Do as I command. Also, he could have attacked with his coif and he didn't for no reason. <clears throat> I mean, unless he wanted to, to block with it for some reason. I don't know. So now we're in a holding pattern until someone gets a removal spell. Because he's not going to want to be like tapping out of stuff. Yes. You should take my Secret Keeper. I mean, he can take the amount. Like, taking the amount would be fine as well. It's just uh, Secret Keeper is more upside. For me. <clears throat> yeah. Man, that sucks. <clears throat> yeah. Narco me He's not even gonna... Let me think. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna concede. No, I can wait. I'll wait. We'll wait it out. He didn't even take the amalgam. Interesting. Great. That's pretty bad. All right. Mm, 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 mm. Big yikes. <clears throat> so just take it. I'm supposed to eat the grave crawler here. Yeah, I'll just concede. I can't really come back. So it's it's goose. So yeah, we we sideboarded fine. Um, on the play, do I change this? No, I don't think I do. I think I like what I have here. Um, so double secret keeper and a feeder, and there's just a narco in hand. Um, hmm. if this was one of these was like a crab, it'd be great. I'm gonna keep it because it's a Thoughtseize deck, and I just needed to defend on the top of my deck. <clears throat> That's really good. Wow, that's such a good fucking hand. Like, just don't Thoughtseize me and I can carry and feed a Gravecrawler. All right, so he's taking uh, probably the feeder. Wow. I'm tapping the feeder because if you're in response, like Surgical's Grave Crawler, I can still cast Secret Keeper for Vengevine Trigger. <clears throat> wow. Just uh, such a good mill for. <laughs> That was a great move for Jeez. <clears throat> Alright, so he tapped out for Goyf, which means I can grow my Kieran Peter as much as I want. Alright, 
Okay, so I'm just gonna do some fun stuff here. We're gonna go swamp. Gray crawler goes away. Cast gray crawler. Gray crawler goes away. Vegvine goes away. Cast gray crawler. It plays in a surgical, but I don't think they have it. <clears throat> I'll swing with a Malcolm here too, because I can always sack it. Interesting. We have a chill in hand. Yeah, if you're just gonna scooze away that, that's not that big of a deal. We just have lethal anyways, so. Yeah, we just have lethal. Just do anything I want. <laughs> yeah, this deck is super good against mid rangey decks like that. If your best graveyard hate is Skews, then you're fucked. Skews is too slow if this deck is on a good for like Skews is too slow against this deck on a good day. Yeah. See, so yeah, I'm just uh some of you may be wondering why I'm not playing hardened scales. Uh, I don't really think it's that good in the meta right now. Uh People think the best deck is Urza decks, so they have Artifact Hate. And the Artifact Hate isn't as good against Urza decks as it should be, but it's really good against Hardened Scales. So I'm kind of off Hardened Scales. Um, <clears throat> it's a good, I, I like the deck, and I think it has like legs sometimes, but it's just not, it's just. Uh, <clears throat> it's just not the best choice. And I'm, I'm grinding, I'm testing for... Ooh, I'll keep this. Testing for um, Magic Fest Austin. is my next Magic Fest. That's going to be the first... Oh, sorry. GP Magic Fest, whatever you fuck you want to call it. It's going to be the first... The first Grand Prix. Okay. Um... Benchline, that's great. So Austin is going to be the first Grand Prix of the year and of the season that's going to have the fractional invites. So what that means is that, like, let's say you top eight. Top eighting means you're invited to the next Pro Tour, and then you're also 50, you have a half of an invite to the Pro Tour after that, which means to say you top eight another GP directly afterwards. I guess it doesn't matter if you top eight another GP because you're invited to the Pro Tour anyways. But basically, it's like you can you can get invites. Alright, we're gonna grab an overcurrent too. <clears throat> Another Benvine? Okay, uh. I never played Carrying Feeder over Grave Crawler. Looks like we're playing against Simic Eldrazi, <clears throat> which is probably a good matchup. Yeah, well, I mean, when they're going turn three, thought not, they're not going to be able to beat our uh, turn two bench fine. <laughs> and we're about to pop off on our opponent here. Okay. I'm going to sacrifice this just in case. I should have fetched first, I think, but whatever. I'm going to grab this wall. going to cast... Oh yeah. <clears throat> oh, they don't even want to trade. Five, I have nine damage on board and I can make that two more. I'm 
No. No, I'm gonna. I'll uh, sack the grave crawler and leave it now. Yeah, if I could do two more damage, then sure, I would. I would go for it, but I can't, so I don't care. All right. Well, now I wish I did two more or one more, I guess, with the Narcan Beaver sack. Because then I can creeping chill and land immediately with no blocks. Alright, what does it matter? <clears throat> A path? Uh, sure. Simic Eldrazi. Uh, Oko's good against an Eldrazi deck. Astrophy's good. Fatal Pushes are good. Okay. Um, I don't really. I think they. I think they do run chalices. Uh, I think that's like a thing, which is annoying. But yeah. Um. I mean, I don't know if I like Thoughtseizes, because, like, I never bring in Thoughtseizes. Like, I don't know, this is where I'm supposed to bring in the Thoughtseizes? I don't think so. I think it's more super combo decks, I guess. So, yeah, two's probably fine. Um, anyways, it's basically an aggro deck. Well, not aggro, but it's, yeah. Um, probably one more chill. Uh, probably shave a trophy. Probably shave a push. <coughs> I think chills have to be like good enough that we can keep it in two. Um, I don't want to shave glimpse. I can shave it once. Yeah, because glimpse we can cast into um, chalice on one. So that's the one shave. Maybe a Nargamiba or an Amalgam. Because um, their creatures are bigger than Amalgam. So probably just an Amalgam. Yeah, Nargamiba at least can chump. And uh, it can chump the turn it comes down. And... He can fly over certain, like most boards, so it's fine. Yeah, we're, we're hedging with our sideboarding here, so if we don't see like play lines or whatever, then we're good. But Astrophy's also good against Chalice, so there you go. No, wait, I don't think they run Chalice. Mm. No, I've seen some variants that run Chalice, like the Simic deck. They're just so weird because they run stirrings and I think hierarchs. Goose. I don't know. Don't know, don't care. You can just decide if they're going first or not. That'd be nice. Awesome. Alright, so this hand is literally a mold of four. I'm gonna mold again because it's a mold of four and I can do better. Uh this is a keep. <clears throat> oh, it's Banto Drazi. Oh my god. Number one. They fucking passed my thing. Game one. I'm so stupid. It's not covered planes. There we go. Man. This format. And a Cavern of Souls, okay. Bird. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. I guess I know myself first, actually. There's a Ben Fine. Oh, why didn't I cast from the graveyard? I don't know, whatever. Oh no, wait, because I couldn't, because I needed the zombie first, so whatever. <clears throat> Take my Narc Amoeba? Drowner of Hope, interesting. Good card. That was great. 
Wow, that was just fucking disgusting. Holy shit. We're just shitting all over our opponent here. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll just swing with no. I don't. I don't swing with the grave crawler. Yeah, I think I swing with these guys though, because I can seeker keeper and grave crawler next turn. Oh shit! Displacers are really good draw for them. Like displacers, so good. Jesus Christ. Really? Okay, I'll take that. Oh shit. <laughs> that's that's why it's so good. Holy shit. Ugh. Uh I'm not gonna shock. The gang's back together, boys. And they have a path. Shh. Ooh. Do I save it with a push? I cannot yet. But now I have revolt. So I'm gonna I still have a stop in my attack step. And I can roll myself for six for free. Thanks. Appreciate that. So I'm gonna push this dude. Just means one less lock blocker for ya boy. You chump, you chump. Okay, sure. Where are my creeping shells? Man, look at this friggin' board. This is great. I love this. <clears throat> Oko. Make a food, okay. I have nothing in my graveyard, so I'm just gonna swing with everything. Okay. Or not nothing, right? But what? Uh, uh, stop it. Okay. You know what? Fine, I'll count. One, two, three, four. There are ten. They have four blockers. There are ten. So if I swing with everything and they block my th biggest dudes, they take one, two, three, four. One, two. Okay, they block. Malgum, Amalgam, Vengevine, Gravecrawler, they take one, two, three, four. Sure. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> like, three of their dudes die. This isn't so bad. Like, Oko can't do too much to this board, except for adding an elk next turn, but that means he doesn't gain life. <laughs> Interesting how he's blocking. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine. Okay. He cannot figure out how to block. Alright, that's the mistake if he kills Vengevine. Yeah, he should he should kill uh, an album. It's not been fine. <clears throat> sure, I guess. Oh, there's another path. Okay. Oh no, it's just a food. All right. What? Tapping my secret keeper. Sure. Wow, that is so bad. This is so bad, Jesus Christ. Like, he's trying to go, like, crack back. And a path? Wow, okay. 
I don't think I have any more. Yeah, okay. Well, let's see what's left. Two Venge Vines, two Oko, Haunted Dead, and two Chill. Okay. <clears throat> so the food was how he lived. Hello? Hello? Oh, yeah. That's a chump blocker. Oof. Our opponent can steal the creature if he wants to. Yeah, okay. Sweet, we win. 2-0 <laughs> against Simic. They didn't have... They didn't have chalices. I don't know what I was thinking. I was just autopiloting. <clears throat> it's okay, though. You can miss Cyborg and still win games. Honestly, though, like, seeing all these Eldrazi decks makes me want to run Dismember over Push. With, like, Endbringer and all these creatures that are bigger than four uh, mana, like, Push is only good against Thought Knot. Like, I can't even kill a Reality Smasher. Uh, but I guess that's why you run an Ash Trophy, so I don't know. <clears throat> Somebody smarter than me will figure it out, hopefully. My name Titus. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, yeah, this is fine. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Like, if they don't deal with crab, I'm good. If they do, I have glimpse. <clears throat> I can actually cast a malgum pretty easily. I'm gonna misty. Spant snow. The mirror. Who knows? We'll see. Best top deck would be another crab or supplier. <clears throat> okay, so it looks like Bant Snow again, maybe. Maybe I'll draw again. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Oh, well, there's a supplier. Because I drew a supplier, I'm going to deck them a little bit here. Mill lands. Okay, creeping shell. Sure. Crawler, okay. Come on, Benvine. Benvine. <clears throat> Are they gonna counter my supplier? That'd be pretty smart. That'd be really good. They just like man linked it. Or quenched or whatever, I don't know. Not quench. Yeah, okay. Not bad. Um, nothing I can do. Looks like Bant Control, I guess. Bant Snow Control, something like that. <clears throat> yeah, of course you drew the Ben Vine. <laughs> Gonna grab a breeding pool. Here we go. Uh, I'm gonna cast the Amalgam here. Because that means on next turn I can definitely bring back two things. I can go like Glimpse myself, bring back two Grave Crawlers, and it adds to the board. And Glimpse is like kind of a roll to add to the board. So we got a Bant Control deck. Um, could be with Urza. Nasty stuff. <clears throat> so. Ogos are good. Definitely out two to maybe four chills. We'll see. Um, on the draw, I like taking out at once. Um, okay, so nature's claims, sure. And a thoughtsies. sure. No, I don't know who would Astro be. Yeah. <clears throat> and, if, and if their stick is like milling or mulling to Leyline or Rip, then we'll take out all the shields most likely. 
Um, but sometimes just like having that finishing power, like it just gives you that like that last six damage is good enough. <clears throat> okay. opponent's thinking real deeply. This makes me think they don't have easy sideboarding, so maybe no rips. Maybe like one rip or something. I don't know. It's a good sign. <clears throat> My name, Titus. <laughs> oh, I like this hand. Whew. Yeah, the one thing I don't like about this deck is that you can't run Force of Vigor. Force of Vigor is such a good card. Ashley, nothing. Wow, this guy is just not doing much today. I am going to play around. No, I'm not. Because I have a glimpse. I could play around removal, but I won't. In opt. It's Bant Snow Control. Okay, so maybe Ovo, but Antiferi, but no, uh, no Urza, most likely. I don't know an Urza deck that runs fucking opt. Okay, there's a rip. Let me see if I go crab. I'm gonna go crab. No myself. Fetch in response. Grab a breeding pool. No myself. Nature's claim that. Woo! But I don't get to trigger Vengevine, which sucks. But whatever. If I even mill a Vengevine. Okay, I milled a Vengevine. Uh, <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Alright, what's in the graveyard? Just a Vengevine? We milled over, like, double Oko? No! How can we win? No! Not the Surgical! Okay, so their hate is Rip and Surgical. So this guy is so ready for us. <laughs> oh man, he is so ready. That's great, that's great. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> man, this is this is pretty good. Well, at least I don't care about casting double creatures. Now I'm just gonna be glimpsing myself and crabbing myself. I mean, I'm about to mill sixteen cards over half my. Is it over? No, it's a little bit less than half the deck left. Mm -hmm. See, one upside about Surgical is that I've had four cards removed from my deck, so it's that much smaller. And now I get to pop off at a slightly higher rate. <laughs> and what do you got? Nothing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Come to Papa. And this is why I like Breeding Pool. No, I'm gonna glimpse first. <clears throat> oh, baby. Really? Holy shit. Okay. Oh, man. I hope he doesn't rip. He would He would have ripped already. Like, it would just suck if, like, he top decks and not a rip. Like, that would just really suck. Like, yeah. I would just concede. Just be a feel bad. That's all. It would just. I would just cry a little bit. I oh, had a rip. Oh man. <laughs> no Oko either. Oh my god. Jet. What the fuck? Four color control. Fuck you. You greedy son of a bitch. What do I have left in my fucking deck? Okay. No Vengevines. We're down to Amalgam. Is that it? Cool. Fuck it. <clears throat> I will continue to mill until morale improves. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's great. 
<laughs> oh, baby. Just one more noggin left, I think. Alright, and now we just start milling our opponent. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna... Ooh, okay. I'm gonna cast Secret Keeper because it's worthless. There's no reason not to. Alright, Amalgam, do your worst. Maybe my four Narcomibas will get there. Four Narcomibas and a Creeping Chill. Yeah, but seriously, that was disgusting. Like, all I had to do was grab it under... Ugh, and Deadwinter? Okay, that's, that's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Do I have a Grave Crawler? No, I don't. Okay. Are there any Grave Crawlers in here? No? So I can top deck some? So I don't want to expose them to... No, I... Yeah, I don't want to expose it, I guess. Yeah. I, I've lost this game. Like, we're just looking for more cards. We're just trying to see. I'll probably take out all my chills. Oh my god, really just Planeswalker control? Fuck this, fuck you. Holy shit, that's disgusting. God damn. The little boy had everything. I guess he was holding rip because he could rip rip away whatever I... Yeah, okay. Ooh. <clears throat> so he would have run in sixth, uh, a grave crawler, and then would've, he would have popped off on me. I mean, he has five turns to kill me. This guy just digging and digging and digging. Got no. Wow, just not even a Mystic Sanctuary. Or I guess he wouldn't want to bring back something Mystic Sanctuary. What do we got? Another Grave Crawler. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna just go with the Run in Six, which sucks, but I'll do it. I'm gonna hold this in hand because if he wipes my board, I can like save it. Sure. And then I can bring back an amount of them. Yeah, that's fine. That's so good. Holy shit, that's great. Oh, he, he really thought he got me there, but nope, you're terrible and I'm good and you're bad or something. <laughs> All right. What do we got? What do we got? Look at that. We're just rebuilding. <laughs> I'm not going to mill our opponent. I'm not going to play Secret Keeper. I'm going to just hope that this board can still win. <laughs> <laughs> Which is really funny if it does. Look at that. Is that 9 damage on board? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yes! Oh my god, look at this. This is so good. Cryptic? I feel like it's a cryptic now. <clears throat> look at that. We It's double rip. Surgical Avenge Vine. And we're still coming back. This deck is great. I love this deck so much. <laughs> he must have really thought he was smart by like killing his own run in six and bolting a dude and be like, yep, I wiped the board, we're safe now. Alright, it looks like a cryptic to me. Sure. Next, next, uh, next turn, I guess. And a path? Sure, let me just make sure. A carrying feeder and an amalgam. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, at this point, he's just, like, trying to, like, mill me out of the game. If I can top deck the carrying feeder instead of the amalgam, that's good. Alright, that's unfortunate. The yeah, carrying feeder would have been a really good draw. So he needs a board wipe. <clears throat> Man, this is great. What a good game. <laughs> what a good game. Wipe the board or do nothing. Up to you, bud. Nice! Look at that! 2-0! -oh. 
three and zero in our Crabine League. Up into our fourth match. That was good. That was a good game. Look at that. We beat Double Rip. Oh man, we got to one card left in our library. They just needed two turns. <sighs> it was probably the turn they like sacked run in six like that. Um, I don't know if that was right, but I don't think it was wrong either. Like they were gonna die to the board. Like they were it like that extra damage like would have mattered, you know. So <clears throat> they probably had to hope that I had like just no great crawler in hand. Wear Malcolm. I don't know. Odds weren't in their favor, but it was probably like the only option they had available to not like lose the game on the spot. But that was pretty freaking funny. I'm liking this deck. <laughs> oh man, that was just, that was great. That was great. Well, yes, I will join the match. <clears throat> Soul Arena, okay. That is such a good hand. Holy shit. This is such a good hand. Oh, man. Oh, yes. All right, boys, ladies, gentlemen, kids. <clears throat> we are about to pop the fuck off. As long as her opponent does not interact with us in any way, shape, or form. Don't thought seize us. Please. Don't chalice us either. Okay, burn. That's actually not the best matchup. We have four creeping chills, though. <clears throat> I'm gonna see your keeper, see what happens. Glimpse is a good pickup. We have three creeping chills in the deck. Okay, well, two creeping shells in the back. This is where it gets shit dicey because I want I want to cast this secret keeper because it can block favorably. Um, but to do so, I'm gonna to want to get a watery grave because if I don't get a grave, and the next turn I'm gonna to have to go like I can't go supply if I get it because I have an island in my deck. I can grab an island, but then I can't go supply or carry and feeder in the same turn, and I can't trigger a bench fight. So <clears throat> I'm gonna grab that shock for a watery grave, see what I mill, and then. Hopefully I mill a bench fine and I can play if I mill a bench fine I'll probably play supplier and if I don't I'll probably play secret keeper. Maybe I can mill some creeping chills as well, just, just for the trouble. Alright, so I'm gonna play this dude. Mm. Yeah. Gonna swing in. Hope we don't die. Like if they have a searing blaze, it's not not a good thing. <clears throat> Maybe they play an idol on. That'd be nice. They could lock themselves out of the game. Mm -hmm. I've had that happen against Burn Upon, where they lock themselves out of the game. It narked me about. I was like at eight. I was gonna be able to swing it in two turns and kill him. He was a two. <laughs> it was great. All right, you're fetching. Mountain, okay. Searing Blaze on the crab. That's really good. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. Uh, all right, so they might just, like, have it. Uh, no, actually, no, they don't have it. They can't just kill us, so we have a turn. <clears throat> Cloud Spike, Skewer, on the Vengevine? What? 
Mistake, 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 mistake. All right. And the fetch. Uh, I'm not fetching, so. Come on, supplier. Do do me do me good. Oh. This gives me the best chance to win. I'm just gonna immediately sack supplier. Come on, baby. Creeping chill. One time. No. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Have I milled my island or swamp? I've milled both of them. That sucks. If they have a bolt, do I die anyways? No. Yes? Yes, I do. Right? I just die anyways to a bolt. They bolt the bench line and then swing in. No, wait, I don't. I died to two burn spells, obviously, but, uh... The question is, is there an argument to... I can fetch shock and... Okay, okay. <clears throat> One chill. Okay, so two left in deck. Um... If I swing, they're down to three. No, okay, I'm gonna just pass. Yeah. If I if I'm I'm dead it up with burn spell no matter what. Um, but this way, like, if they start jumping, like, I can I can glimpse into chills probably maybe one or two, and then I'm like safe. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay. So we're up against burn, so Oko's amazing, pushes are amazing. There's an argument for force negations, and there's an argument for claims in case they bring in rip, which they sometimes do. I don't like Astropy though. Okay, so Oko's for sure. Um pushes are good. And we'll see about two claims for now. Uh force negation on the play, probably not worth it. Um, we're up against burn, so these guys can come out. This guy can come out. Now we we never shave creeping chills, so it's a little tougher to um, sideboard. Claim can hit Eidolon, which is why claim's fine to bring in here safely. Um, maybe because we're on the play, we can take out a push. Probably a second crawler. Um, Haunt dead is a little bit too slow. Haunted Dead's better in like grind your matches where it's gonna go long. We can like discard stuff and bring back amount of bones, things like that. It's just another way to bring back stuff and also like discard like stranded venge vines. But if we had stranded venge vines, we want to be going faster anyways. Um an archimeber or an amount of Oh, uh, just shave it, nature's claim. <clears throat> yeah, we'll leave it at that. Again, we have a creeping chill in hand, but this hand is good enough, so I don't care. We're gonna fetch shock into watery grave. And play supplier. Yeah, so the reason that, that I'm not like bringing in like two claims here is that I'm on the play. So if I was on the draw, like I would go something like, if I was on the draw, imagine this hand on the draw, right? And they have a rip, I'd go supplier like, they'd go land, go, like, creature, burn, whatever the fuck. And then I'd go supplier, and then they'd rip. But this way, like, if even if they have the rip in hand, I can still, like, supplier and crab and maybe do something before, like, the rip resolves. And then, like, I might have an actual, like, board that can do things. It sucks that this isn't a fetch, but whatever. Rift bolt. Okay. That makes me think they have hate in hand. doing this because uh, if they rip, I want to have gotten back like the max number, like amount of value that I can. Alright, bye crab. 
<coughs> Bye, crab. If they don't rip, then I can, like... Okay, that's good. That's really good. Uh, crab is good, too. I'll swing. There was an argument for carrying featuring, sacking supplier, and doing other things, but... I don't care about that argument. Baiting removal here so I can play a crab safely next turn, maybe top deck a land. Plus, if I if I resolve the grave crawler, then you can no longer bolt the feeder. There's also an argument for having played the grave crawler from hand, but I'm just like baiting removal basically, which is probably better. Um we got a path. A path would be great. A path would be amazing. I would love to have a path. Get, get me that much closer to the Creeping Chill. Okay, Searing Blaze. Interesting. Oh, maybe it's a Searing Blood that's even better. No? Okay. Um, do I sack my Supplier? I think no. No, I don't think so. It's fine. Jesus. Alright, we're gonna swing. So now they, like, crab's a lightning rod, they want to kill crab. Because if I top deck on land, I, I pop off. But I have a board that's virtually unkillable too, so it's like at this point they need a board wipe. Or like, I don't know, some sort of creature, I guess. Like I'm at 17 life, they're not gonna be able to burn me out before I can kill them with my dudes. And they're blaze, maybe. Maybe a blood. A bolt face? Yeah. Yeah, he's already realized he's he needs to clock me. He or she. One, two, three, four, five. I have five damage on board. Okay. Another blaze on the crab, even. That's great. <laughs> All right. I can't lose from here, so I'm not going to risk, um, because I could have, well, I, I still can, but I can go, like, so I, I don't have, I can't grab an island with catacombs, so I can't, like, go island in Archimede, but if I mill over a Vengevine, and I can still mill over a Creeping Chill, which is also good, but, yeah. Yeah, but I'm just playing it as safe as I can, because I can only die to, like, what, a Boros Charm? And a, like two Boros Charms and the Bolt. So if I fetch here, I make it that I can lose to a Boros Charm and two Bolts. There's a Charm. Plus if like he bolts me in response or whatever, like I can just, like if he has double Bolt, I'll just Catacombs and see if I can hit the, uh, the Chill. I just fetched response anyways. Yeah, I'm not gonna fetch here. I'm not swinging with Amalgam, because if I swing with Amalgam and he has a Deflecting Palm, I still don't die, actually. Eh. Nah, I'm not gonna- I don't know why, I'm just not gonna do it, like. Do not care. Like, I don't know. You have Lightning Helix? Okay. This is why I'm supposed to attack the Malcolm, I guess. 
Skull crack, sure. You're dead? Alright, that's why you don't that's why you don't crack the fetch, boys and girls. Alright, so I didn't see a rib. That doesn't mean there's not one, but I just didn't see one. I'm on the draw. I believe that. <clears throat> this hand is terrible against burn of all decks. So we're going to go more of it. This hand remains terrible. Oh man, this hand is pretty bad too, but whatever. Like, I don't want to go to four against burn. Goodbye, and we got we got two lands. Just get rid of the fetch. Yeah, this is unfortunate, but it happens sometimes. But I have a push for their creature. Maybe they goblin guide me into like stuff. Get rid of my lands, make sure I have good spells, hopefully. I don't know. Hmm. Sure, you got a guide. Revenge flying, god damn it! Fuck! Um I'm gonna delta here. A Swiss spear, okay. And a fucking Tormod's crib. Jesus Christ. That's good hate. Alright, what do you see? Alright. We're gonna hit this with Sphere. Tormod's Crypt is really good. Oh my god, another fucking bench fine. Um... Yeah, this is pretty bad. Um, I'm inclined to block. Am I inclined to block? Yeah, I think I have to block. Double crypt. All right, I'll block. I'll block. Okay, I'll definitely block. I don't want to top like that. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Unfortunate. <clears throat> oh fuck, I cannot believe I just grabbed the fucking- I, I should not have played the Rainforest. I should not have played the Rainforest. That was so bad. Because I, I could have gotten Catacombs into Pool. And then Rainforest into Island next turn and cast a Bench Vine for without like shocking myself. But now I have to like shock myself with this grave. This game is probably lost, but like, you know, it's just stuff like that that matters. Uh I'm gonna fetch here to maximize my chances of drawing with a relevant spell. Fatal push. There we go, boys. Boys and girls, we did it. We drew a relevant we, we drew a relevant spell. All skill. Okay, now we're just dead to stuff. Um, I 
I'll just, I don't know, whatever. I'm dead to like a million things. So just hope, like, to fade a lot. And then maybe top deck my Oko. Sure. Alright, GG's. Alright, yeah. So Burn's not the best of matchups. Um, you think it is with Creeping Shells, but we have to, like, shock ourselves a lot playing this deck. So it's it's pretty tough. <sighs> I'm in search of the elusive 5-0, but I always lose some somewhere. All these four ones are just killing me. Maybe I should run a collective brutality in like the sideboard over uh, Thoughtseize. Yeah, I'd like that. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully we get a good matchup here. Thing okay. Come on, come on. Jay Stealth 17. I don't know who the hell you are. <clears throat> nope. Um, on the draw, can I do better? This hand's effectively a mold of five. Would I get a better mold of five? Yes. Let's mold a four even with the what the fuck? The same spot even? Alright, whatever. Uh this goes away. This goes away. Sure. <laughs> but oh shuffler is broken. It's broken. Well this hand does the same thing. It has two creatures. But we can still mill ourselves with them. I love how Seeing Keepers like made this deck good. Oh, is this the mirror? Oh no, it's not. It's fucking Shadow. Okay, Death Shadow. It's doable. Don't disrupt me. Don't disrupt me. Leave me alone. Okay, so they have... Why would they play Fetch first? The fuck? Wait, did they target themselves? Oh, they targeted me. Okay, they're taking a look at what I'm on. Before they Thousie. Yeah, okay. Um, They should... I don't know. They'll probably take the Glimpse, but like, there's an argument for taking one of the Secret Keepers, so I can't double creature a Vengevine back. If they have another discard spell, it's irrelevant. They should take whatever they want. Once upon a time, it's fucking disgusting. Alright, so they have another discard spell, I think. Um, do I fetch here? No. Nah, not gonna, not gonna trigger that. Alright. If they have a stub, they might be holding up stub for the glimpse. <clears throat> Alright, yeah, it's a stub. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna just play the land and pass. <coughs> pass. 
popped out from there, that sucks. I'd rather, like, develop a clock. Is it Tomb? I have... Okay, I have everything I need for mana, so... I'm just gonna grab... No, I'll just grab another blue source, actually. Just in case. <clears throat> so this allows me to get back Gravecrawler to double creature next turn. Oh, you know what? That's why I should have glimpsed. I should have glimpsed my hand. Uh, my, myself. <clears throat> you know, that was a mistake, I think. Yeah, I, I should have glimpsed myself here. I glimpsed myself, he stops. Oh, fuck. That's bad. So he's a Death Shadow. So four. No land. Thank you. Yeah, it was a mistake what I just did. God damn it, I fucked up so bad. Fuck, I could have, like, had this in my grave. Oh my god, triple amount of the fuck, I fucked up so bad. Now we know, whatever. Oof, that's bad. Just top like a creature, boys. Oh, fuck, they're gonna stop it. <laughs> fuck. Yeah, you should stop that. Yeah. Fuck, man. That was... God damn it. So close. Oh, well. That was... That was 100% on me. I could've... Uh, I could've done better. Um... Death Shadow... Fucking four color. Yeah. Alright. Um... I actually just don't want Creeping Chills. I want a grave crawler on the play so I can keep in this. I can literally just sideboard like this and run it back. Um, the in issue is if they have a ley line of the void. Which makes me want to run some number of astrophies. So let's think about it. Um, I can shave a mm, I can shave a once in a glimpse and do it like that. Two answers just in case. Alright, we'll jam. Don't have it, please. They didn't have it. All right, we're gonna mill ourselves. No, actually we're not. Uh, yeah. It's like, what are the odds of them having a, like a... It's interesting. Whatever, I'll just do this. <clears throat> yeah, we really could have just won last game. We just punted that game away. It happens though, whatever. As long as we can identify what we did wrong and not make the same mistake again in the future, we're gonna be good. So I'm just playing and practicing for GP Austin and I already made my money back, so it's not a big of a deal. Okay, that's a removal spell. Not a removal spell, they're just shocking. Okay. <coughs> we got shadows. Okay. I'm going to assume with the team. Oh, I should have milled myself first. You know what? I don't know what I was thinking. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah, look at that. I'm just not in my game right now. Whatever. 
Just tap right. I'm not on top of my game is the right word to use. I'll play a... Uh... No, he can't kill me with a goyf. The consideration was like to bring back an amalgam later. So he blocks my three best creatures, which is this, this, and this, and then takes not enough. Okay, now he takes enough. Because my best creatures are Vengevine, Amalgam, Vengevine, these three. He takes one, two, three, or five. If I just up up this, I win on combat. <clears throat> Alright, we won. So now we're on the draw against Death Shadow. So I take out a Carrion Feeder. And I bring in... We didn't see a Leyline. They didn't want a Leyline. So, but they had a good... Their hand was... Eh, their hand wasn't that good, actually. It was whatever. So that makes me want to... Bring back a Glimpse. A Once in a single Astro V instead. Try to goldfish them as fast as I can. And then, like, if they have a ley line, like, we deserve to lose, that's fine. Right, what do we got? We got nothing. His hand sucks. Alright, one more. This hand is good. We'll keep. Um. Get rid of Amalgam. Okay, this is good. Big Nathasi's eyes. It sucks. But it's the way it goes. Bye bye, crab. I'm just deck pinning. So now I'm about to mill 10. Like, if I fetch and get out of shock land, it's basically me milling 11. If I do another fetch, it's me milling 12. So it's just more worth it. <clears throat> Alright, that is a very obvious um, very obvious stub. Having a shadow would suck. Sure. <clears throat> Delay? Oh, uh, okay. I guess, like, sure. That's that's cool, I guess. <laughs> Jesus. Alright. Um just gonna pass. That's such a weird fucking card. I mean, I guess in Death Shadow it's pretty good. Oh yeah. About to pop off on me. Am I dead? Alright, I, I would be dead to a term of battle rage, because they can um, tap people for a mana. Oh man. That's pretty funny. <laughs> this is pretty funny, not gonna lie. Um, we're gonna once here. Yeah, crab is a good draw. Um, do I crab? Yeah, I think I crab. Crab's literally supplier, but better. Let me see. I have two grave crawler, one grave crawler on the side. So basically, my I can hope to mill a Gravecrawler and a Vengevine. I'm not going to do that. No. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, okay. Double Amalgam's good. <clears throat> if 
I do this and they block, then um, I can play Amalgam next turn and bring back two Amalgams by bringing back the Grave Crawler. All right, so that's fine. They're gonna draw, okay. I lose to Battle Rage, I lose to Double Removal Spell. I lose to many things today. I lose to Bolt, technically, but I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna just let my crab die so soon. Doesn't lose to Bolt anyways. Yeah, there's no chance I'm opening here. <clears throat> I mean, delay will kill me. Like, I will lose to delay. <laughs> alright, alright. Delay's good. You got me. You got me. I could have won game one. That's on me. Good games, opponent. Alright, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.